The DMV has started issuing real IDs. They're basically an enhanced driver's license that makes getting through security when you're flying a little bit easier. Aaron Breen joins us now from the DMV office on Galetti Way tonight to sort it all out for us. Aaron. It is a little bit confusing, Kristen, but as we all know, you have to have some kind of ID to get on an airplane, and a lot of people use driver's licenses, which are issued by the DMV, right? Those have been just fine, but about a year from now, that's all going to change. You'll either have to have a passport or you'll have to have a real ID card. Those are given out by the DMV, but when you come in to get one, you need to bring the right documentation to the DMV. Which is important to know before you get here as it can be a bit of a hassle. I've been here twice and I got to be sent home one more time because my passport's expired and I don't have the stamp on my marriage license. So I got to go okay. through, I said, my steel box and find that. But Darlene says the wait has actually been short and this will all simplify things for her later on. She's right about that. And that's the case for anyone who uses their license instead of, say, a passport for ID. It's a choice. You don't have to get a real ID card, but if you want to get on an airplane after 2016 or sometime in there, you're going to have to have a real ID card. Or a passport. So what is a real ID card? Well, it looks a lot like your driver's license, but that star and the gold circle around it showed that the DMV has checked out your background. These cards have security features in them, and that's the whole idea behind this, to make our licenses more secure so that when someone presents a license, if it has that, that gold star, the white star in, it, in a gold circle, we've been able to verify those documents, and that's something that we never had in the past. Again, it's a choice. Without the documentation, you can still renew your license as usual. Instead, it will say on it, not for federal official use. So if you opt for it, what do you need to bring with you? Well, you need original documents, just like applying for a passport. You have to, to establish your identity, your residency, and, and also Social Security. So those, those documents you have to, and on our website, we would encourage people to go and look at the list. It's very exhaustive of all the documents you can use to verify those things. Now the biggest question of all, which is when does all this take effect? Well, that decision is a federal decision. It's up to the TSA to make, not the DMVs. It's up to the TSA. The closest we could get from them today was merely to say it won't begin before 2016. So it's at least a year away to do that. It's something to think about when you are renewing your license, when it comes up for renewal, and the technicians are supposed to ask you which way you'd rather go. If they don't, you should ask them. And of course, if you're going to go with the real ID, you got to bring the documents with you and be prepared. Covering the story, Aaron Breen, Channel 2 News.